to afford in the development of communities and all of these initiatives for school refurbishment and, and, and community center construction to afford local and community contractors those opportunities to participate. People can register, they can participate, they're given a mobilization fee, they can go to NETCO, they can get their loan, if they need a loan beyond that as their business develop and emerge, they can go to the business development company and get a higher level loan to the tune of probably one million to two to five million dollars. Opportunities across the board for citizens irrespective of who you are. Unprecedented. And for all of those reasons, I can say that I'm very proud as a young person at age 30 to be a member of the People's National Movement. And I will continue to serve the people of Trinidad and Tobago through the structure of the PNM because I believe that the PNM represents the best for the people of this country. And notice I haven't dealt with health, health is the biggest issue. We haven't spoken about CDA, we haven't spoken about. Uh, hospital and edu uh, an, an increase in uh, in surgeries and reduction in surgery waiting lists. Uh, we haven't spoken about issues such as uh, increasing amount of uh, healthcare professionals, doctors, nurses, and also training programs that will see an increase in the amount of locals who, who enter nursing and medicine and so forth which at the end of the day will translate to an improvement of the quality of health. We haven't spoken about issues such as movement in the direction of a national health scheme system, which is being worked on. We haven't spoken about arrangements with the John Hopkins uh, Medical School out of Baltimore with an arrangement with the government trying to be able to do health research and development in health initiatives. We haven't also spoken about the initiative to make primary health care uh, of greater benefit to the citizen that those health centers in local communities will open later. Some will also probably open 24 hours, thus contributing and at the end of the day in the long run to reduction in the waiting time at the general hospital. We have spoken about the construction of the Scarborough Hospital, the Point Fortin Hospital, which will start in January. I am very proud of the PNM. I'm saying that I'm seeing where the PNM is working to serve the people. And I'm very proud that as a young person, I could participate in the process which would contribute to the overall development and well-being of our society. Mm. Mr. Primus, thank you so much. That has been a learning experience for me, just sitting here and listening to you. It made me realize just how imbalanced sometimes the media can be in just sh just talking about one side of the situation. and. And now that you've given me all this information, I have so much more to take away and to reflect on as I try to properly assess the performance of our government. And for young people as well, uh, there's the, I, I can see from your experience, your first-hand experience, uh, a path of a personal and career development that you have followed as you have pursued this path that you have basically chosen a path to service to serve the people of Trinidad and Tobago, yeah. and that has to be respected and commended. So and another point you made about all these benefits that are accruing to us as citizens, it made me realize, you know what, thanks to the PNM education policies, there are more young people access, not just secondary, but tertiary level education, more so than ever before in our nation's history. And so there are more educated, aware, socially aware, politically aware. And I'm not cutting across you, no, but no, no, I mean, I haven't also made mention to similar type training and development initiatives mm -hmm. uh, in sport and youth development. I haven't dealt mm -hmm. with the components in terms of the Ministry of Community Development, Culture mm -hmm. and Gender Affairs, their component because they have something called export centers, mm -hmm. Women and Harmony program, mm -hmm. program in communities for which a lot of young people are in fact benefiting in. Mm -hmm. uh, geriatric adolescent program, young person. Also, a lot of young people are involved in that mm -hmm. and it affords them to be able to, to, to develop that greater sense of awareness and need to care mm -hmm. for the elderly mm -hmm. and our society. I mean, you look at the sporting component and you look at the, the funding and the need and the government agenda to refurbish and to construct and develop youth facilities and community centers and mm -hmm. create daycare centers and early childhood centers. Mm -hmm. A lot is actually happening in Toronto. A lot is happening. And mm -hmm. when you speak with friends abroad, mm -hmm. their situation is quite different. Mm -hmm. And I said that we 
don't really pay the full price for anything. That is true. Mm -hmm. Someone pointed out to me the other day that in Norway, property tax is 40%. 40%? 40% wow. in Norway. Yeah. Norway taxation is very high. Mm -hmm. um, Norway citizens really, probably similarly in the direction in which our government is moving, they don't really pay. Everything is more or less free, but their taxation is very high. Mm -hmm. We don't experience a serious situation of high tax because we've had a reduction in all taxes, mm -hmm. including personal income tax. We've had mm -hmm. opportunities to afford uh, any citizen, and these things will really benefit the young people that you can actually take out your annual T's and you, ex you, you have their tax exemptions in all of these areas. And I mean, really is so much to speak about. And you know, if one really takes the time to dissect mm -hmm. all of the various uh, sectors of the economy and what government has done, everybody trying to be should actually want to be a support of the People's National Movement and be very proud of Patrick Manning and his leadership in terms of the vision for Trinidad today. No one could have said it better, Mr. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you.